I'm Steve Colgate. Started offshore sailing school at a cocktail party in 1964. Met a fellow who uh, had a sailboat, uh, and uh, I had the experience, had, having done a transatlantic race in 1955. He suggested possibly a sailing school. There weren't any sailing schools in the country at that point, and so we were like the first sailing school that ever started in '64. And in 1966, I heard about a, a sailing class sailboat that had just won an Olympic trials uh, for to be a three-man Olympic boat and it looked like a pretty good boat so uh, I, George O'Day of the O'Day fame, uh, sailboat fame, uh, was importing and so we bought the first two Colgate, uh, excuse me, the first two Soling class sailboats. Uh, Soling uh, was designed and built by uh, some Norwegians named Sver Olsen for the SO and Jan Linger for the LING and that's the way they put it together and uh, I, when I de designed the Colgate 26 it was really with the thoughts of well, the history of the soling in mind I mean the things that were good about it and the things that were bad about it. My motivation for, for designing uh, the Colgate 26 was partly to make it unsinkable and it has foam throughout the, the, the below decks to make it unsinkable. And it was actually uh, T-boned by a Tiara powerboat, 40-foot Tiara powerboat. Uh, one of our owners in the, in the Chesapeake got hit by a, a powerboat going 25 knots and cut it in two, practically. And when the Tiara backed off, the Colgate 26 floated up to the surface. And so if it had been a hit and run, the, the people aboard would have had a had been saved. So it was uh, very worthwhile that it was unsinkable.